Daily vlog number 150. 150. Not bad. Thank you. So today I wanted to do something a little different to celebrate this vlogging milestone. I am here at the Wildwood Convention Center with a whole bunch of clergy and church folk as we talk about a whole bunch of stuff that the church is doing and that God is doing through the church. So I thought I'd ask some folks, where do you see the light of Christ shining in your area? Let's see what kind of responses I get. So I see Christ shining through um, a search for Christian maturity retreat. It is a retreat that changes lives, it transforms lives. We've had parents come up and say this retreat has actually saved my son's life. And I just see God working through the church and through the members of the Poverty Task Force and through all the churches showing an interest in reaching out to the people experiencing poverty, just wanting to help and share God's love. I'm Denise and I'm, I work with volunteer coordinating with the Future with Hope. And I would say I see Christ in the volunteers that I work with. They. Um, help to ease the suffering of people and, and, and that's the best way to connect with uh, with Jesus. You're, you're his hands and feet at that time. So that's where I see Jesus in our ministry. All right, I think the picture says it all. Chaplains go into the world of the military to present their faith groups, uh, teachings on God and on religion. And as you see, soldiers are eager to get. There are many rays of light shining from the source of Christ within us. And one of them that strikes me right about now because it's coming up is the number of youth, not only in our congregation, but their friends who they invite to go on the Appalachian Service Project trip with them. And just to see the excitement in them as they go and then the transformation in them as they return, that is nothing but the light of Christ and to God be the glory. Amen. <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible. Last Tuesday, right before I left work, I checked my Facebook. I never checked my Facebook at work. Somebody I know put out an alert that said, we need someone to go check on a guy who's detoxing from heroin. And I went and I met with this guy. I stood to talk with him for like an hour. Um, we ended up getting him into the hospital. Uh, yesterday, I talked to him on the phone. He ended up going to Arizona. He was happy, he was laughing, he was eating food, which is incredible for a heroin addict. I don't know, it just it feels good to know that God used me in that way. I'm from our Arcola UNC in Paramus, and I see it in our prison ministry. We have a group that goes out and visits at the Bergen County Correctional Facility, and we share worship with the inmates. And what the light was that we saw shining very brightly was when two inmates got up and they gave their testimony about how Christ is acting in their lives while they are incarcerated. I, I see Christ uh, in this ice cream because he is my king. Honestly, I, I truly see the light of Christ in today's young adults. You know, it, it's a tough time to be a Christian and openly be a Christian. You catch a lot of flack, how could you believe in something you don't see, isn't that stupid of you? Today's young adult Christians, they know that there's something there. There's something to grab onto, something to hold, something that's going to better them and help them better others. And I, I just appreciate and see the light of Christ in that dedication. And we're doing exciting ministry at Mount Zion. Uh, at the present time, we're doing a men's ministry where we have men's Bible study, which is a new concept for us because men are afraid to come and to be in a Bible study. So we've opened the doors and we're challenging the men to come and to be a part of that. They're just trying to catch up to where the women are. John, I see the light of Christ working when churches are able to come together and partner and do ministry together, like St. Andrews and Haddonfield Church, joining together to bring a group to help build houses for families in the Dominican Republic. God busting a move, making a difference. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks be to God. Amen. One of the really exciting places I see the light of Christ these days is in the number of local congregations that are seeing the connection between grabbing hold of God's vision for them as a church and then inviting people to be part of that vision through their giving. And those are the churches that are coming alive with really healthy stewardship, a healthy ministry, and real healthy participation on the part of the people. I have seen the light of Christ very clearly in the birth and life of my beautiful daughter, Dylan. 
I see the light of Christ in so many places. One, right here at annual conference, the way people are connecting with each other, the worship, the music, and then also the homes that we're repairing for those that were suffering from Superstorm Sandy and just how people have pitched together, come together, making all that happen. The light of Christ shines bright. Well, that went a lot better than I thought. I guess I should answer my own question. I see the light of Christ in all of these people gathered here. Well, most of them. That's what shows me that he's real and that his light is shining. So hopefully it's shining through me because I know it's shining through a lot of these other people here. So tell me, how have you seen the light of Christ shining in your area? Let me know in the comments below. This has been daily vlog number 150. 215 to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.